Okay, let's try another uh, problem involving the factor label method or dimensional analysis. And this is a more complicated one than the previous one I did. A car travels at 50 miles per hour. The tire diameter is 27 inches. How many revolutions per minute does the tire make? Okay, so uh, we're really converting uh, miles per hour to revolutions per minute or RPM. All right. So let's begin by converting the miles to inches because the uh, diameter of the tire is 27 inches and we're going to need to have the, the distance traveled in inches. So there's, you start out with what you're given, 50 miles per hour, and there's 200, uh, 5,280 feet per mile, and you can see your miles cancel out. Now we have feet per hour. Now we're going to go to inches, and the inches, we know there's 12 inches in a foot, and we want to get rid of the foot, so we put the inches on the top, 12, and the feet on the bottom. And now we can cancel out the feet. And now we've got inches per hour, and we're going to keep, uh, let's start now getting revolutions. We know that the tire has a diameter of 27 inches, and it's, um, the circumference would be pi d, pi times 27. So every time the car moves pi d inches, the tire makes one revolution. So we're going to convert inches per hour to revolutions per hour by multiplying by one revolution for every pi times 27 inches, which is the circumference. And you'll see the inches cancel out now. We have revolutions per hour. And finally, we have to get uh, revolutions per minute. So uh, we've got to get rid of the hour, and the hour is in the denominator, so we got to uh, we have 60 minutes per hour, but we're not going to put the 60 on the top. We're going to put the hours on the top, one hour and 60 minutes for 60 minutes, and that will cancel out the hours. And we're left with um, revolutions per minute. So uh, the process of solving this would be 50 times 50. 5280 times 12, divide pi, divide 27, divide 60, and that gives us 622 RPM. So that's a nice example of the factor label method, dimensional analysis, factor unit method, whatever you want to call it, which is very useful in uh, all kinds of problems in chemistry, physics, biology, what have you. So thank you for your attention, and I'll see you next time.